What is going on guys and thanks for watching this video. In today's video we're gonna be solving a two sum problem. So without further ado, let's get started. Just to remind you guys, this video is not gonna be scripted, so you will see me making mistakes and going through the problem. And we have the two sum in lead code and the description is given an array of integers, nums, and an integer target. Return indexes of the two numbers such that they add up to the target. You may assume that each input would have exactly one solution and you may not use the same element twice. You can return the answer in any order. Okay, so what they are asking us is return the indexes. So we have got index 0 and 1 and we need to add two number to the target and we cannot use a number, same number twice. So for instance, it's a really good example. Here we have got two and seven, and it has to add up to the target, which is nine. So we will return the indexes zero and one. Great. Okay, so I can see that we can use either two loops or we can use one loop and store it in a hash map, which we will be doing today. Um, and let's get started. So let me just change it to um, ES6. And what I will be doing is I will assign a storage, which is gonna be an empty object. And then how are we gonna approach this problem? So we have got inputs and we have got, which is array and we have got a target. And what basically we will be doing is we need to loop it at least once. So the first value, which is going to be uh, 2, an index of 0. So we'll put index here. So we have got index 0, value 2. And we need to look at the target so what i will be doing is i will deduct it from the target and then we have got seven the remaining and we look at our storage which will be here so this is an example just to let you know and we look at our storage and we check, hey, do we have a seven in our storage? And we don't, so we want to assign it to our storage. How are we gonna do it? We need to assign as a key value pair. And the key is gonna be seven and, oh sorry, the value is gonna be, uh, no, 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 the key is gonna be seven and the value is gonna be zero. Because then we need to return uh, index number zero so seven we will store it and with an index which is zero okay hopefully it's right let me go through it again uh, yes then we look at seven so we have got another iteration seven here which is the index number one and the value is seven I'll get rid of the target and we check hey do we have a 7 in our storage and we do so we need to return it and we return the indexes we first return the index from the storage which is gonna be a 0 and then we uh, return the index that we are currently on so which is 1 and that's pretty much it great so <laughs> let's check the code so what we'll be doing is to loop through it at least once. Okay, so we have got four. Let's, um, let's do index and num. Um, we do of nums.entries. Okay. And then we need to also um, return something here, 
So I will do if something happens here, then return else do something here. Okay. So if so we need to check if we have it in our storage. So this line we'll be checking. Do we have um, the value? Is the value in the storage? If it's not, then assign it to our storage. Okay, let's do first the assigning to the storage. Uh, so if we don't have it in our storage, we're gonna assign it and we will do it the way where we take this target. So we have a target through the storage. Uh, storage which is gonna be a target minus the num that we are currently on equals to our index so which is gonna be this line the storage target minus num which will be seven and the index will be zero great and then if it is in our storage we need to return it, so we will check if it's in our storage. So we do storage, num, it's not undefined. Okay, if it's not undefined, then return. And what do we want to return? They are saying we need to return index indexes. So, then we return indexes. We first check we first return the index from the storage. So we do it this way because we need to return an array. So storage, uh, we will check the num and then we have the index. Okay. So let me just go through it again before I gonna press the submit. So we have got storage, we have one loop index and num of num of entries which is our array and, and num is basically f iteration so 2 7 11 15 if storage num is not undefined so if it's not uh, if it's in the storage then return whatever is in the storage and then the index that we are currently on if it's not true uh, if it's nothing in the storage or the value is not there, then, then assign it to the storage. Storage target minus num equals the index. Okay, um, I think that's right. Let's see. Great. Okay, so we passed this one and I will see you in the next video. I hope to do more of these lead code videos. So see you next time. Cheers.